Breaking tonight, a jury says Bernard Madoff did not act alone. Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. Five of Madoff's former employees convicted today on charges they helped carry out the largest Ponzi scheme in U.S. history. CBS 2's Marsha Kramer, live at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Marsha? Well, Dana, it was one of the longest criminal trials ever to play out here at Manhattan Federal Court. Six months long and over 40 witnesses were called. The Madoff Five, including Annette Bongiorno, Madoff's longtime secretary, and Daniel Bonventry, his director of operations for investments, were convicted of 33 counts of securities fraud and falsifying the books and records of a security dealer. How do you feel about the conviction? Throughout the six-month trial, the two women and three men who worked for Madoff were described by prosecutors as telling an elaborate web of lies that helped cheat investors out of some $20 billion. Ernie! Madoff's massive Ponzi scheme was first revealed in December 2008, when Madoff ran out of money and was arrested. He pleaded guilty and is serving a 150 year jail term. Two of the defendants, Bongiorno and Bonventre, testified that they were Madoff victims too, but prosecutors successfully convinced the jury that they were, quote, necessary players in Madoff's scheme. In addition to aiding Madoff, they reportedly also got tens of millions of dollars in salary and bonuses. U.S. Attorney Preet Barrera issued a statement claiming that the defendants played crucial roles in constructing and maintaining the house of cards that was the Madoff investment fraud. These defendants each played an important role in carrying out the charade, propping it up, and concealing it from regulators, auditors, taxing authorities, lenders, and investors. Now, the five they've ma faced maximum jail sentences, and if you can believe this, from 58 to 211 years in jail. Now, they're not the only ones involved in this scheme. Already nine other Madoff associates have pled guilty and are serving jail time. Reporting live from Manhattan Federal Court in Lower Manhattan, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.